why I'm very, very passionate about women empowerment. Women, we do a lot, but we are not focused. That's what differentiates the man from the woman. If you look at the man, the man is focused and is articulate about his goals. When I discuss with women and I ask them, what's your money go? They are looking at me blankly. They don't even understand what that means. And I tell people that this is the best time to be alive. This is the time when children of nobodies can become somebody without necessarily knowing anybody because of the power of technology. So what am I saying as a woman? This is a time when women can end from home, even from the comfort of their homes. And these are things that I've done with several people. I remember that I had this lady during COVID, a lot of businesses shut down and all of that. And she was saying she couldn't make money. I said, no, I don't understand what that means. There's nothing that is, I can't make money. It's just your mindset. And I said, look into your house. There must be something in your house you used to make money. And she calls me back after 24 hours and she's like, when you gave us that challenge, like look into your house. And I throw that challenge to everybody here. You are not unfortunate. Everybody can start with something. But, you know, she looked around. She was a teacher, schools have closed down. It was a private school, no money. And she realized that what she had was that phone she was using to communicate with me. And she had data on it. So what's that BRS thing that you have? And she had good fashion sense. She knows somebody that sells clothes. She went to go and negotiate with the person, and that is how she made it through COVID without begging. And let me come down to the women at the grassroots. Mama Basira knows Mama Bingpe that sells groundnut. And we ask each other, ah, this your hair is beautiful. Who made it? As you are saying the who made it, you are putting one percent inside it. <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to monetize their talent. There's something called facilitation fee. That I introduced somebody to you. I, I see, as I love to say, a lot of people sleeping on a bicycle. Like, I are crying, it is not working, it is not this. Permit, I, I, I tend to be very down to the basics so that people can get it. You can't tell me you do not have a talent. God did not make a mistake when he was creating you. The question is, how did you, or how are you using your talent? Mm -hmm. You are community babble, in quotes. Everybody knows that you know news. Please, go and sharpen that talent. Open a blog. Do you know how much bloggers are collecting? You already understand how to get news. But your problem is you don't just understand how to disseminate that news. Why on earth would you waste time talking and people are not paying you for it? You can actually make money, make a living out of gossiping, right? Instead of sitting down and constituting yourself to be community nuisance, have a blog. People now know that this blog is forced to go. You want fresh news. Just go there. Before you know it, people are coming to meet you for advertisement because they know that everybody is always going to your blog. So I hope that helps on multiple streams of income. <laughs> I just wanted to keep it very basic so that we